This is the uniform that we're gonna try all of our dresses on. I have, I have 19 dresses and then two jumpsuit moments. And then I also have my wedding dress that doesn't really count, I'm not counting that. And then also my wedding jumpsuit that I wore. So let's just get started. Um, bruh. God, these are so like awkward to put on. There we go. <laughs> so this is a denim jumpsuit. And I love this. I got this on clearance. I want to say for like $9 or something crazy. Am I wrong? Or is like a denim jumpsuit kind of becoming like a staple in classic clothing? I feel like it's so classy. It comes with the belt. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I don't wear it as much as I would like to because it's too hot. But um, they are like a wide leg and they're a tiny bit cropped. Just super cute. This is like a super fun spring or fall outfit where you don't know what to wear, like literally throw the purse on and a pair of sunglasses and like a red lip, like instantly cool. There's, you don't have to try with this, but yeah, I'm keeping it. So this jumpsuit is from Good American. Okay, I have some thoughts. <laughs> First of all, my bike shorts are way longer. <laughs> the jumpsuit comes to like here. So just, you know, let's roll them up just so you can get the full picture. This is cute, but I haven't worn it a lot. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't think I like it as much as the Gap one. I don't know how I feel about the shorts. I just kind of feel like it doesn't flatter me that well. If you want this, I think I'm going to list it on my Poshmark. It's one of those things like if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it around, but we're going to get rid of this one. This next dress I haven't worn yet. Everybody's getting married. Like we have like five weddings that we have to go to. And so I've kind of been just on the lookout for a, a nice dress to wear to a wedding because I don't really have any fancy dresses. And I plan on wearing this to every wedding. I don't, I think it's kind of dumb to buy a new fancy dress for every wedding. And this one is so freaking cute. I got it on clearance at Anthropology. I think it was 50 bucks for like a $200 dress has pockets, this cute bow. I think I might add a stitch because it falls over. I think I could add a stitch to kind of keep it up, but super cute. It's like um, a teacup length. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get some funky looking shoes, like a bright purple or bright red or something. I think it's super easy, like with your hair down, but I could toss it up a little bit. This is just super, oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm so happy. And yeah, don't feel the need to buy a new dress for every wedding. That's like so dumb. Just get a really nice one. Recycle that shit. <laughs> this is a keep. It's a basic dress from Target. It's from a new day. It's literally just a maxi bodycon with long sleeves. This is just like a really good staple, so I'm gonna keep this one. If you're like scared of bodycon, I would go with something like this because it's a little looser. It's not like super tight. This is from the brand. I don't know if it's Staud or Staud. I've been I was saying it's Staud, but I think it's Staud. I'm German, and the German way to say that would be Staud, like the the pot um, enamel company Staub. So. Let me know, because I think I'm saying it wrong, but this is their iconic double knit. I saw this like two years ago at Saks Fifth Avenue and I was like, oh, you'll see on my tops, I have a wrap top that is the split color. And I also bought this same exact thing in the short sweater. I love this so much. I don't regret it for a second. I got it on sale off of their website. It's super cute. It's a bodycon sweater, but I'm in love. This one is a little bit more daring. I think it's more of a bodycon. It definitely like hugs my little stomach. I found out that I have a tilted uterus. <laughs> so instead of tilting forward, it tips backwards. So that's why I have this cute little three month pregnancy bump at all times. <laughs> This is a super fun piece because it's super classic looking, but it's got a little bit of an edge and that's what I like in a piece, like a classic cut, you know, it's a bodycon, little sweater, very like classy with these buttons, but the color makes it kind of like different and cool. We've just gotten like aggressively more daring <laughs> with the bodycons. This is from ALC as well. I really love their stuff. I got it at TJ Maxx. And it's this really beautiful bright yellow bodycon and then it's got a slit at the leg. I love this. I think this is so fun. I love the color and honestly I love the cut. I'm just a little self-conscious about my stomach and my butt. Like sometimes I feel like my butt looks too big. I know that's like a dumb complaint but sometimes I'm like Oh my god, like, can you chill out, please? And it's a little see-through, so you can definitely, like, 
see my little belly button imprint and I don't know what bra to wear with it. So once I figure out the bra situation, I want to order um, some bras on Pepper because I got little boobies and my bra now like cups out and it doesn't look good with this dress. So once I have the right bra, I just think this is stunning. This is an easy keep. This is from Free People. Got it to TJ Maxx. This is like my beach cover up running errands quick, like just grabbing a coffee. Uh, it's the perfect little dress. I don't have to wear a bra with it. This is also another Free People one. It's kind of weird with my bra under it, but it's a cute neckline. And I also have it in this color. I'm not going to try it on. It's the same exact dress. And again, this is like great for like just running to the beach. Like if we're going on a quick beach walk in the morning, it's super flowy, super lightweight. I don't think I would keep this if I didn't live in Hawaii, but a staple sundress, a staple cute, lightweight, flowy dress that like covers your legs. So you're protected from the sun in that aspect. And then we got a big wide brimmed hat. It's such a staple, especially if you're visiting here. It goes over bikinis great. So based on the fact that I live somewhere tropical, <laughs> these are both a keep. Okay, this dress, uh, I feel so like, I just feel so weird about it. So I had originally gotten this for our engagement pictures, but then the day of, I just, I couldn't wear it. I just didn't feel super confident in it. And it, also it's just like a little shorter than I would like. It's kind of like a weird length. And this whole like bodice is weird. It's got like pleats, but then ruffles at the butt. So then it really like highlights my butt. And again, sometimes I feel like my butt looks too big and this makes it look bigger. There's a little like loop here to connect and these little weird frills. It like makes a weird neckline and like puffy sleeves. I just feel like there's way too many like elements in this dress. There's like the open keyhole in the back. This button's up. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it. It's super cute and it's super pretty, but I don't love it on me. Can't just like hold on to it to like, but well, what if one day? No, I'm never gonna wear this. Okay, this has been in my closet since 2020. It was part of the Target and Designer collab by, uh, I think it's Marie Fernandez. I didn't, I don't really know who that is. It's like a little too structured for how hot it is. Like I feel like I would just overheat in this cause like the fabric is like touching me, but I think East Coast Spring. It's so cute, I'm gonna keep it. I mean, it's not even worth selling. Like I wouldn't get my money back. This dress is so old. This was my mom's. She probably brought it, bought it in like 2010, 2012. I feel like they don't make true wrap dresses anymore. Like the whole, I, I, I feel like all the wrap dresses I see nowadays are faux wrap. I and mean, there's something really nice about a real wrap dress. I'm gonna hang on to it. It's super cute. It ties on the side, but I always think that looks weird. So I just tie it in a bow in the back, but I can't really do that by myself. But it's a good length. It's like a midi length. Just that like classic fancy rich vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, I really like this. This is a piece that I think is kind of an essential. It's like that linen blend dress. It goes down like halfway to my calf. I wore this um, on our honeymoon. I've worn it a lot just like around town, little errands, beach day. Again, it's very casual because that linen, it really breathes nice and you don't feel like you're in like a really heavy material. The one downside is I always have to steam it before I wear it because it wrinkles pretty easily, even just from sitting in my closet. So I give it a good steam and then it looks nice and crisp. But yeah, this is like a staple, a linen dress. I love the puff sleeves, I'm keeping this. This I'm not gonna put on because it's a little too tight. And it's one of those things that I was like, well, if I lose weight, then this will fit me. So I should save it. I'm gonna put it on Poshmark. It's a beautiful vintage dress. Look at this. It's like this awesome pleated fabric. It's got a little tie at the neck. It's got like this drop. I don't know, it's got a fun waist to it. Mm. <laughs> Please buy this because it is gorgeous. I saved it from the thrift store. It had a couple stains. I got them all out. Yeah, I gotta get rid of her. This I'm keeping. This is a true wrap dress. It's gingham. It's from Gap. It's an easy thing to just throw on. This dress by Madewell, I'm only keeping. I got it at Nordstrom Rack. I'm keeping it because it is a good staple. I've worn this over bike shorts. It's just like a black t-shirt dress. I don't really gravitate towards this, but you know when like you can't be bothered with clothes? Like you don't really feel like wearing a fancy dress or a nice dress. You just want something to blend in and run to the post office real quick. This is typically what I'm wearing just chilling at home. Sports bra, bike shorts, and then I just throw this on real quick over to head to the post office. So this is more like a functional piece than like a fashion piece. This I'm gonna keep, but I need to wear it more. It's one of those like tank dresses 
that has those like that ruching on the side that like cinches up. It's like a really kind of sexy cut. I just don't know what shoes to wear with it. I don't know why this has such a chokehold on me. This is a tube top maxi dress from Old Navy that I got when I was like 15. And I've worn it as a skirt before. I've worn it as a dress. It looks super cute with a jean jacket. It's just one of those things that I think if I got rid of, I would regret it, even though I haven't worn it in a while. So I'm just gonna hold on to it because I, I know, I know I would sell it or donate it and then be like, shit. <laughs> this is my favorite dress and I need to take it to um, a seamstress and get the straps altered because they are a little bit too big. They need to just be cinched in a little bit more because the shoulders always fall off. This is like a coveted piece. <laughs> it's by Veronica Beard. And if you know that brand, these dresses are like $600. I found it for 80 at TJ Maxx. It's so cute. It's so delicate. It's kind of like a little higher in the front than in the back, but not dramatic because I hate a dramatic high-low. It's so beautiful. And then the last dress is just a bodycon ribbed tank dress. Pretty basic. This is just like an essential kind of dress, but I kind of want to style this with a white button-up and sneakers and like a, a navy blue hat, something like that. I think we're gonna have to workshop this dress, but I am keeping it. Okay, so we got rid of one no, two dresses and one jumpsuit. So we have 17 dresses and one jumpsuit. It's a lot, but I don't know, man. I like clothes, I love fashion, and can't really get rid of any of these at the moment. But I am going to make a mental note to stop buying dresses, because I do not wear them as much as I think I do. And I have plenty of options here, so no more dresses for me. <laughs> like, no buy on dresses. So this is all of my sweaters and two crew neck sweatshirts. I'm not really a sweatshirt gal, so we're just lumping them all together. This I thrifted. It's so cute. It's navy blue, says Boston. I wish it was a little oversized. I love it. I think it's so chic, so cool. I feel like navy blue is having such a moment, especially like navy blue with white blocking. I've seen a lot of people like with a navy blue hat, with the white lettering, and I think we're gonna see a lot more of this this year, but yeah, this is like <laughs> one of my treasures. This one I got from Aerie, it's super cute. It's kind of like a towel material almost, and I bought it on my birthday, and I'm really glad I did because I love this. I wear it a lot with just bike shorts, so she's not going anywhere. And then like I said, I have that stowed, stowed, um sweater in a normal length instead of the maxi dress look. I wore this tucked in to some high-rise wide leg pants and it looked super cute. I I mean obviously I'm in love with it because I have two of practically the same thing. This is a newer purchase that I got from Anthropology on clearance. I'll actually put this one on to show you the sleeves. It has these super fun like pop sleeves but yeah I love the red color. I don't wear it often here. Um, but it was on clearance and I just felt like it was kind of like a red sweater. It's like a staple. This is my favorite sweater. It's also from Anthropology. I got this when I first moved to Hawaii um, because it was on clearance for $15. I love black and white stripes. It's I used to only wear black and white stripes. Like in high school, I had like five different articles of clothing that were black and white stripes. It's very me. I just feel really confident in it. But it, I like that it has this mock neck. It gives it some detail at the neck without being like overpowering. And then the same thing, it has these like balloon sleeves. The skinny part is a little shorter, but super chic, super easy to just tuck into a jean with a sneaker. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this. It's so me. This sweater isn't my favorite. It's also from Aerie. It's more of a function thing as a beach lounger, just kind of a beater because from the front, I like it. I love the neckline. I love the, the style of knit, but the butt, it, there's such a stark difference. Like it goes down so far. So this is definitely, again, another like keeping it because of where I live situation. <laughs> this is also one of my favorite sweaters, which my mom gave me because she didn't like it. And I absolutely love it. It's a philosophy sweater. I mean, it's just a black sweater, but the way it fits, again, it's got that like skinny sleeve, I guess. I really am drawn towards that. It's perfect. I think everyone needs a black sweater that just fits them really well. So then I have two like fun sweaters. I freaking love hot pink. This is from Anthropology. It's, you know, those cute like button cardigans. My camera's not really doing it justice. It's like even more neon in person. I love wearing this with no bra. I think it's kind of sexy. Like it covers everything, but you get kind of like a deep V. Yeah, I really love it. And then the other one I have is by Everlane. Also really like it. I wear this a lot on the weekends when it is a little cold here. It doesn't get cold often, but I 
am obsessed with this style. I think it's super cute. I think it's a super fun way to add color into your wardrobe without it being like overwhelming. Okay, now these three are the ones that are like, I don't know about. So <laughs> this is from Aerie and it's a purple cardigan. And I love the cardigan and I like the cut of it. It's just the quality of it that I'm not obsessed with. I think I might get rid of this. I never wear it. I'm, I It's been sitting in my closet for probably over a year and I've never worn it. I don't know, I think someone else would get like a lot more use out of it. So I'm gonna ditch this one. That'll be up on my Poshmark. Then this one is from Madewell. It's another cardigan. This is all I wanted in high school. There's a mirror here, so I'm like looking at myself. This would have been my dream cardigan in high school. I think I'm gonna keep it just because when I found it, I was so obsessed. I was like, yes, I finally found like the mustard orangey cardigan of my dreams. It's got the big pockets. It's kind of a chunkier knit, not like super chunky. The only reason I haven't worn it is because of the climate here. So I think that when we move, I'll probably get a lot of use out of this. And then this last one is from Old Navy and I got this, oh my God, years ago. I can't believe it doesn't have any holes in it but I think it's time for it to go because it is a small and when I bought it, that was like pre me working out and now I like got some muscles so my arms have gotten bigger. Uh, my arms used to be little tiny sticks <laughs> and so now this is really tight on my arms and it is super cute, it's just not comfortable and I think this is a pretty easy piece to find again. I mean, a rust thin cardigan, it's not that like groundbreaking so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one and then maybe I'll get another one in the future I just don't really gravitate towards this color anymore though it doesn't really feel like me I feel like I used to wear a lot of muted colors like gray and olive green and this rust color that was like really in at the time and now with the, my pops of color I like these like funkier neons bright like green it's not really doing it for me like I don't feel any joy in this <laughs> So cool, we got rid of two sweaters. So we have two sweatshirts and eight sweaters, which I don't think is awful because I really like all of these. Um, the only one that I don't love is this white airy one, but again, it serves a function for beach wear and the others I really love. Hello, party people. <sighs> it's a new day, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Trying on my clothes is a lot of hard work, okay? <laughs> So these are all of my shirts that I hang in my closet and then we'll go through everything that I keep in drawers because there's a lot of like sleep shirts that, you know, you have like your favorite two sleep shirts and the rest can <laughs> get out of here. I've got a lot of white shirts, so I guess we'll start on this end. I'm definitely keeping this shirt. This is a great workout shirt. Typically I'm not like drawn towards t-shirts when I work out. I either want it to be like oversized to where it's cutting my butt or cropped, you know? But um, I really like this one. I got it in Germany. It's Nike, it says Berlin. It's really lightweight, it's nice. Keeping this one. Okay, this is my Everlane tank. Keeping for now, but may get a small and then put this up on my Poshmark if I do. And then this guy is a double hanger. <laughs> so it has another shirt on it. My main problem with this is that it's very see-through. So um, I need to get a better strapless bra because my current strapless bra is from mm, seventh grade. <laughs> and I'm 24, uh, so you can really like see how raggedy it is. So I think if I get a nice bandeau bra, this would be really nice. Sorry if you can hear the birds. Yeah, it's super pretty. I love the neckline and the back. I love the puff sleeves. I always need somebody to help me tie these though. Um, super feminine, super girly, and also just kind of a staple. I need to wear this more. Put this on the rotation. This is super cute. Obviously I'm keeping it. Okay, this, oh and this that I didn't even know I had. I was super into these a couple years ago. This one has a built-in bra, but it, you still need to wear a bra with it because your nipples still, you can still see them. So it's like, I don't know what the point of that is. I think I got it intentionally to go under this. This used to be my favorite shirt of all time. I got this in like 2018 when I was living in Germany and it was just this like pirate <laughs> chic cuteness. I'm gonna keep it. I can't get rid of it. I would be so upset. And then um, my dad, he washed it with dark colors and it's never recovered to its beautiful whiteness. And I know I could bleach it, but I don't think that would, I don't know, it used to be like a really beautiful off-white and now it's like a dirty off-white, but I'm gonna keep it because it 
it's not worth selling it doesn't take up a lot of space and then also I think it's like a good layering piece like the sleeves are so fun these ruffles I just can't I can't get rid of it and when my husband and I first started dating I wore this like all the time so it's just you know it's got some sentimental value but how fun right I think I'm gonna get rid of this one though I never wear it this is a very basic long sleeve top but again of um, sentimental value because I was wearing this when my husband proposed to me, so I can't get rid of it. Um, and also, it's just really cute. It's just kind of this slouchy, um, comfy shirt from Gap. This shirt, in theory, I love. Every time I put it on, though, I don't love. <laughs> it's this Zara top, and it has such fun shoulders. I mean, look at these shoulders. <laughs> They're so fun. But it makes me feel too masculine. I don't know if I'm ever going to wear this out because every time I put it on, it doesn't make me feel hot. I'm going to keep it for now. <laughs> I'm going to keep it until I wear it because I need to conquer this. You know, decluttering is really popular, but that doesn't mean you have to get rid of a lot of stuff. Even if you get rid of two things, that's good. This I'm going to get rid of. It's just a tank from Aerie. My mom got it for me for Christmas a couple years ago. <sighs> and it's just... I'm never going to wear it. It's comfy, but... I don't really like to lounge in like skin tight stuff. Okay, another white tank that I haven't worn. Shocker, wow. Ignore the straps, just pretend those aren't there. <laughs> it's a really pretty, like that cowl neck, you know? I think this is a staple, I just haven't pushed myself outside my comfort zone to wear it. It's cute. I'm gonna keep it, it's cute. <laughs> and then this, I'm not even gonna try it on because I don't even know if it fits. This I am keeping purely for nostalgia. It is this American Eagle. American Eagle used to do this like really Victorian style clothes. Does anyone remember this? I had a few similar shirts with the pleating. This is what I wore in high school. I would wear this shit with like a string of pearls, like the Queen of England baby. And I would wear a little cardigan and my Oxford shoes. Girl, I, one time a girl made fun of me in middle school cause she was like, why are you wearing pearls all the time? Are you going to a tea party? You know what, Danielle, maybe I am. Yeah, I was a classy queen. I was wearing the craziest things. I like loved just like that twee secretary core. That was how I dressed. This is self-explanatory for a Taylor Swift costume. This is purely for Halloween purposes, so I'm keeping this. <laughs> this is a free people tank top. I love this for working out, so it's a keep. And this I won't try on, but it's literally just a basic white bodysuit from Everlane. A staple. This I had listed on my Poshmark for a while because I wanted a better quality one, which I still do, but I'm going to wear it. <laughs> I took it off of my Poshmark and I'm just going to wear it until I do find a higher quality one. The fit is okay. I just hate how wrinkly it gets so fast. Like I know clothes are going to get wrinkles even when you wear them, when you sit down, they bunch up, whatever. But this, it's like you just look at it wrong and it's wrinkly. So yeah, these are my favorite for going on little walks. And then kind of the same thing, this I wore this morning to my walk to the post office. It's extremely lightweight and it's just good to throw on for sun protection. The biggest thing I've learned about living in Hawaii is that you cannot really like be stylish. I don't know, like of course you could be stylish. However, clothes are more for function here, at least for me, because I don't tan and I don't want sun damage and I don't want skin cancer. Skin cancer runs in my family. I need to be covered, I need to be protected. So most of my clothing is for function. So like this covers up a good area of my skin with still being lightweight and I can breathe in it. This one, I don't know yet. <laughs> it's from Target, A New Day. Same thing though, I don't know what kind of bra to wear. I just, I guess I just need a better, strapless bra to really make some things work because it kind of goes off the shoulders a little bit so you could see a bra strap. Like I know this one is a sports bra but even so it'd be sticking out like that. I don't gravitate towards it a ton but I love this like tucked in kind of slouchy clean aesthetic you know like the clean girl which is <laughs> such a weird like clean girl TikTok. But you know like a very loose wave dewy skin tucked into like a really flared jean with this pair of shoes. Kind of like a Joanna Gaines look. That's what I feel about this top. I think I gotta keep it, man. It's just, I feel so feminine. I feel it like really highlights my clavicle, my, my decollete. This is another thing that I actually had listed on Poshmark for like a year. And now it's one of my favorite shirts in my closet. Obviously I took it off. It is just this button-up, but it's a short sleeve. 
and I take it and I do a little tie and I wear a bralette with it so the lace kind of peeks through. The amount of times I've worn this. <laughs> it's starting to get peeling on the uh, collar but I think I could take a razor and just um, get it off. It's so cute. I love this with a pair of light wash jeans. It's a staple. Here is the white tank top doom hanger. This one I replaced with a newer one. Can I get rid of it? I got this for a dollar at TJ Maxx. This one used to be my holy grail, but um, I don't really vibe with it anymore. It is just like a knit, a rib knit tank top. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm probably never gonna wear this again. And then this is super cute. I actually got this um, when we went to Portugal a couple years ago. It's crazy that that's a couple years ago. And it was such my style then. I feel like I'm in this transitional period of girl to woman. <laughs> like I feel like once I hit 22, that's when I felt more mature. I got this when I was 20, 21. It was my 21st birthday and I still felt like just like a girl, I guess. Like my fashion was younger and now I just feel like I have a more elevated style and it's a little bit more mature. And I don't want ruffles on my tank tops. Uh, oh, well, that's not, a, that's a lie. I do have ruffly tank tops, but I don't really vibe with this one anymore. I will not be putting this on because it takes <laughs> like five minutes to put on, but it's cute. This is my newer purchase. One shoulder has a big puff and one shoulder is a spaghetti strap. And then it has this just darling bow in the back. It's a crop top. I wore this to dinner last week. Beautiful. It was from Anthropology. It was on clearance. This Maeve brand is my favorite brand. I get so many cute clothes from this brand, especially their tops. Gorgeous. They're always on clearance at Anthropology. My Anthropology has a freaking amazing clearance section. And yeah, I really vibe with this. This is my Anina Binti that I got secondhand on Poshmark. I'm a Taylor Swift girl. Okay. But I love that band T aesthetic and I don't want to wear something fake because I would just feel like a fake. <laughs> so uh, this is a great alternative. They are pricey. They were on a hundred bucks. Okay. I did thrift this for 50, which is still up there, but if you sell on Poshmark, you can use your credit to buy stuff. So I just got rid of stuff in my closet to basically exchange it for this, which I love. Um, yeah, this is a small, so it is actually pretty oversized. I'm typically a medium in tops. Um, it does, you know, cover the butt. However, I like it. You know, you already know. I like it tucked into my jeans. Got a little Americana theme. I, I yeah, I'm obsessed. When I first got this, I wore this like every day. I still really, really love it. And it's a staple in my closet. I mean, how cute with a little, little leather jacket. Stunning. This I thrifted and I haven't worn yet. It kind of reminds me of a cheerleader, but I think this neckline is just so cool, right? There's a moment for it. There's definitely, there's definitely a time and place for this piece. Let me throw my hair up real quick. I saw it and I just couldn't put it down. I had to have it, but I think this is, we're kind of going to be seeing stuff like this this year. I've seen a few, it's not like a sweater vest, but it's kind of reminiscent. The neckline's super cute. I love the contrast. Maybe even with a skirt or like white pants. I'm gonna keep this because this seems like a really fun like styling project. <laughs> um, it's just so unique, you know? All right, and this is the black tank top of Doom Hanger. This is a basic from Zara. It's literally just a muscle tank. It doesn't go down too low, so you can wear a normal bra with it and it doesn't show. Um, yeah, this, I feel really confident in this. I don't know what it is about a muscle tank that I really enjoy. And then I have that same cowl neck cream shirt, but in black. This is going on the chopping block, but don't wear it soon. I have to get rid of it. This is a black little strapped cami that started it all. Unlike the white one, this one is perfect. It's from Primark. It's a small, it doesn't have a built-in shelf and it's weirdly fantastic quality. I will be keeping this. Um, it looks super cute with um, high-waisted maxi skirts. Same thing with this. Whenever I wear this tank top, I don't even want to put it on because with the bra, you won't be able to see a ton, but it kind of has a deeper V in the neckline. Whenever I wear this, I get so many compliments on this tank top. It was from H&M, their Divided brand. It's still in great condition. However, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. The black is kind of fading. I am keeping this, but I want to see if I can order um, a black dye kit 
redo it because it's perfect. It just needs to be more pitch black. I love that top though. This tee is also an Anina Bing tee. You can see it's got it embroidered on there and then it also has on the sleeve the logo. And I got this from Nordstrom Rack for 50 bucks and they're usually 100 so I couldn't believe I found it there. It was the last one. I feel like I wear this a decent amount. This is a Zara top that I really like. It is just a black tee with a tie. I don't know how well you can see the black shirts if like all blends in together, but it ties right here. I usually wear it with no bra, so it like goes even further down. Kind of sexy, kind of cute. This I will insert a picture of. This is the Anina Bing bodysuit. It's got super long arms and then it's got a super low back. I lost it after this for so long and then it went on clearance and I got it. It's just so cute. I love the exposed back. Backs are so sexy. Anybody's back. Anytime I see someone in a backless dress, top, sweater, I'm like, she is sexy and I feel sexy in it. Oh, this is the black tee I was talking about. This is the one I'm gonna declutter. I guess I just put it back in here for the sake of showing you. Um, it's literally the same thing, pretty big. It has distressing on the neckline, but um, I only need one oversized black t-shirt, so we'll get rid of her. This is another Freak People um, top that is part of their movement collection, their like workout line. This makes me feel so badass in the gym. So badass. Like, cause it's got this ruching on the side. I feel like it's really sexy. It like emphasizes the booty, cinches in the waist a little bit. It's super lightweight. Keeping, keeping it for sure. Okay, so this green top. This top is also from Anthropology from the brand Maeve that I also got on clearance. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous top for a gorgeous, gorgeous girl who loves gorgeous, gorgeous green. Ugh. It's so cute. I love this color on me. I wore this in my um, Hero Cosmetics video. Don't have to wear a bra with it. I love this color. I really want a bikini in this color, but it's so hard to find. I want this green. Some of them are like more muted. I want this bright like neon Kelly green in a bikini. So if you know of one, let me know. And it must have high waisted bottoms. Those are my conditions. Thank you. This I haven't worn yet, shocker, but it was $198. That I got for 20 bucks at TJ Maxx. And I have always wanted a top like this. It fits there, but it moves around a lot, you know? So I have a great seamstress here in Hawaii and I'm just gonna ask her to um, make the straps tighter so that they stay because they don't have a slider at all. I love animal print. Animal print to me is classic. It's always in style. I mean, truly, like when is, when is animal print out? And by animal print, I mean cat print. <laughs> not zebra, not cow. Y'all had me pressed with that cow print. I mean, what was that? What was that about? I hated that. I hated that. Maybe it's because I'm Wisconsin. Cow, cow print is like Wisconsin core. <laughs> Don't like it. I have two striped button-ups. This one, I like it because it's oversized. It's long, it covers the butt a little bit. This is my go-to to wear with bike shorts. I think it looks so cool. I love a button up with bike shorts and a baseball hat. Looks like a celebrity on errands, you know? It's a paparazzi celebrity picture look. This one, I like to wear this one with jeans. It's not as long. Also, the stripes are a little bit different. This is more blue blue. This is more like subtle blue. This is good for tucking. Therefore, I am keeping both. No further questions at this time. Is it absurd? Maybe, maybe. But the amount of times that I wear these in a week, I can justify it. This was my husband's. He wanted to get rid of it. I said, let me keep it. <laughs> it's a Carhartt shirt and I'm never gonna wear it. I mean, realistically, I'm probably never gonna wear it unless I keep it for, and it's pretty comfortable. I could keep it for a sleep shirt. I think I would regret if I sold it on Poshmark. Sorry, gonna keep this one for a sleep shirt. This was also in my sell pile for a long time till I actually wore it and I actually like it. I don't know if I, th if I saw this in a store, I don't think I'd pick it up again, but when I, whenever I wear it, I feel really pretty. I don't know, I just feel really cute. This is my go-to if I have to wear something nice and I don't know what to wear and I'm panicking. Whenever I throw this on with some little earrings and whatever, I feel really just cute. I just feel cute. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the most exciting shirt ever, but it's really pretty. And it, um, yeah, it looks really good with like soft makeup and like bouncy wavy hair. So I like this one. This shirt I have in two colors. It is a very thin material. It's got Swiss dots on it. It's a wrap and it's two-tone and it's quite literally the perfect shirt. I like the pink and red one more, but this one is so cute. I got them both on clearance at Anthro. They had a black and white one, but I could never find it in my size zone clearance. So I wish I had that one too. 
I'm keeping this. Obviously, I love it. This top is also a staple for me. I wear this a lot. I always feel extremely cute in it. It's just cute. It's just it's just fun. It's so cute and fun. This is a keep. This is probably one of my favorite shirts. This shirt I've had since eighth grade, freshman year. I like the color on me. I've got to get rid of it. I, I'm never going to wear this. It's been sitting in my closet here in Hawaii for two years and I haven't worn it once. And then this piece I thrifted. It's this gorgeous Gap neon button down. I love it. I love it. I love the bright color. Again, it's one of those classic pieces with the color being what makes it a little funky. Another anthro shirt from Maeve, but it has just these darling tulle sleeves that are super ruffly. It's got a great neckline, can be tucked in really easy. Very girly, very chic, very cute. And then here is that shirt in the warm tones. I had to purposely make an effort to stop wearing this because I was wearing it quite literally every time I left the house. And I had to stop so that it didn't get worn out because it is a thin material and so I didn't get too sick of it. Um, I usually put it on better than this. There's an actual like hole that these go through, but just for show. This sweater that I showed you guys earlier, <laughs> different brands and different sides of the color, but it's the same thing. So I guess we all know <laughs> what my aesthetic is. I just love, and I've been looking at the blue version of this. I've literally been looking at the blue version being like, it's super cute. I love a two-tone shirt, man. We love a color block around these parks. This is a Free People uh, flannel and it's super fun. It's got this really fun sleeve where it's ruched. And then it also has that same um, gathering in the back. I also like to wear this with bike shorts. My Hawaii style is like button down with a collar and bike shorts. That's what I wear every day here. And then this top also from Maeve. Wow, she's so unique. It is just bright orange, got a great neckline. And then it's got these little ties at the back. The quality of their tanks are so good. They're like a really nice thick material. And then uh, one thing that I forgot to throw on here because I literally just got it a couple days ago is this Anthropology turtleneck. I got it from the thrift store, which I was really excited because I don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe. And it's a great staple. It's a great layering piece. Okay, so we got rid of, so we got rid of six shirts from that lot, which I don't think is awful. And also like, okay, Here's a pile of stuff. I also have these random shirts that like I've decluttered on my own time. So I, I, I do declutter a lot that I don't film. I'm constantly decluttering. I just wanted to um, consciously make a video to really uh, key it in even more. So is this a lot of tops? Yes, this is still a lot of clothes, but I'm not gonna force myself to get rid of more than I have to. And keeping it and wearing it is better than donating it and letting it just like rot somewhere. So. Yeah, these are my tops. I got rid of six. Feeling good about that. Okay, this, this is the real reason this declutter needed to happen. This is everything that I keep folded in one drawer. How it fits in there, ah, beyond me. First up, we got a shirt that only goes in there because <laughs> I can't hang it, it's off the shoulder top. And I feel like Gingham's really having its moment lately. I really love this. It's by Rachel Roy. It's great quality, super cute keep. This is another keep. It's a free people top. This is a go-to for me. It's so comfortable. I wear it a lot without a bra. This is a keep. This is the first shirt that my husband ever lent me to sleep in when I stayed at his place. So it's obviously a keep. It's got sentimental value and I wear it literally all the time still. This is a keep. Gym shirt. Wait, this isn't even my shirt. <laughs> I thought it was my Nike shirt. This is my husband's Banana Republic shirt. Um, wherever the Nike one is though, I don't see it here. I'm keeping, so just pretend this has a little Nike logo in it. It's literally not even my shirt. I love these Lulu shirts. I have it in blue. I have it in two blues, like this green blue and then a baby blue. I'm keeping both. They're great workout shirts, great hiking shirts. This I can get rid of. It's just a little tank top that I sleep in. I like the Free People one better, so we'll get rid of that. This is another Free People top. This is just an extremely oversized tissue t-shirt that I love to sleep in. It's just comfortable, you know? This used to be my holy grail in high school. It is so worn in and I don't even like how it feels on anymore. It's not as comfortable as my other sleep shirts, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But I used to wear this like every day to high school. 
Um, it's lived a great life and now it can live with someone else. These are my favorite workout shirts by ASOS. It's the ASOS 4505. It's like their workout line. I love these for working out because they're really lightweight. They go high rise, they cover up any cleavage. So if I'm doing any moves, it's got great coverage. Super cute color, crops at a great space. Really underrated, I don't hear anybody talking about them ever. Okay, then I have a couple, oh well I have this uh, Universal Thread t-shirt from Target. This is my favorite sleep shirt because it's so tissuey feeling. There is a navy blue one somewhere that I'm going to get rid of because it's not the same material and I don't like it. This is an Eddie Bauer tank top that has been worn to death. I'm going to say keep. It's extremely comfortable. <laughs> so I got this when my brother graduated from Air Force basic training and I wore it to the gym a lot. It was like his... the Bulldogs. I just don't like where the sleeves are on me. So sorry Carter. I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> I still love you though. Still proud of you. A simple gray t-shirt. This I wear out a lot. Keep. Black workout tank. Keep. This is the same brand as that gray tank, but it's a cream color. I don't really like this. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I wear my pure white tee a lot more. This is a great sleep shirt. I wear this out too a lot. It says Honolulu. This is also one of my favorite sleep shirts. Keep. This striped shirt, I don't really enjoy. I just don't like the stripes. I don't like the stripe width. Width? Width? It's a hard word to say, but <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that one. This I thrifted. It's like kind of a more vintage Calvin Klein tee. This I thrifted because it's this super cool University of Hawaii vintage t-shirt. I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it though, so I'm gonna sell it on Poshmark. I just couldn't pass it up. It's so cool. So hopefully someone can find some love out of it because it is a freaking neat tee, but I'm never gonna wear it. Again, I just like had to save it from the thrift store. <laughs> this is my white Everlane tee, which I wear all the time. Obvious keep great staple. This is the Everlane tank, like that white one that had the cutout. It's the black version. I'm going to keep that and I'm going to try to hang it up as well. This is fun. It's from Target, their Colsey brand. It's kind of like that Free People tank. It's really neon. I like to wear this if I run outside just because it's so bright. So I'm keeping that guy. Another white tank. This is my workout tank. I love wearing this from American Eagle. I've gotten a few comments on Instagram about it. It is the offline like OG tank. I don't think they make it anymore though, but I love it. This I thrifted recently. It's a vintage tee. Uh, the Olympics. U.S. Olympic Training Center. It's so cool. I really love this. I'm keeping this. This I used to wear all the time. It's like, yeah, this Charlotte Russe off the shoulder short sleeve top. Not my style at all. Get rid of her. This is like a Nike rash guard that I thrifted that I thought I would wear, but I really don't like this color, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is another white tank top that has like a great built-in bra. I'll give it a few more go rounds and then if I don't wear it, I'll get rid of it. Okay, this has been sitting in my drawer for forever. Mm. Actually, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> oh my God. This is my old Primark t-shirt dress, but I now have a black Madewell t-shirt dress, so we can get rid of that one. This I really like, but it has a hole in the armpit, but I also think the sleeves are just a little bit too short for my liking now, so I'm gonna get rid of her. Okay, this Nike top. I hate the way this fits. I hate the way this fits. I'm gonna sell this on Poshmark because I think some people will like it, but the sleeves are kind of weird, and then also it's a little bit too cropped. And then I have this Taylor Swift Lover t-shirt. I'm so torn. I never wear it, but I feel bad getting rid of it. I'm gonna keep it, a sleep shirt. <laughs> and then this is a cute little shirt my mom got me. <sighs> I hate getting rid of gifts because it's cute. It says Fridays are for fish fries and old fashions and it's got Wisconsin on it, but I hate V-necks. So I might just give it back to her because I know she would love this. V-necks make me feel weird, but I know she loves a V-neck. So this is like donate to mom pile. So I'm getting rid of one. So I'm getting rid of 13 things from my drawer. I totally forgot I had a little extra pile from that. This is an Under Armour shirt I used to wear all the time. I never wear it now, get rid of that. This I just thrifted. It was in my last video about my Dream Essentials. I love this. It's a gap tee. It's an extra small. It's like the fitted tee of my dreams. This is super cute. It's from Old Navy, but it's got two slits on the side and I hate shirts with slits, but I absolutely love this pattern. I love the neckline. I've always loved this shirt. I'm gonna crop it. I'm gonna make it a crop top. We're gonna DIY this one. And then this t-shirt was my OG original black tee. I wore this all the time. My mom was so mad because it's got holes in it. It kind of fits nice though. I might hang on to this too because again, no one's gonna buy it with holes in it, but it's extremely comfortable. So I think I'm gonna keep this guy for now. So what, I just got rid of one extra thing? Yeah, so I got rid of one, rid of one extra thing. 
so that's good. Welcome to day three of decluttering our clothes. <laughs> Today we're tackling pants, so I guess we'll start with like athletic wear and shorts and then we'll move on to jeans that I've just like hung on here. So these are these like super popular free people shorts and I love these, but the band is super thick. It's like three, four inches. So it goes up super high, which I love. Um, but it's not too short, like it definitely covers my butt. They're definitely like shorter shorts. I just really love this like silhouette of the super high short. I used to wear the Nike shorts and they hit so low rise and they're so uncomfy. So I have these in black and then like this kind of cherry red pink and then also in navy blue. I love these. I think these are a great deal too. I think they're like $30. They sell out a lot though and I'm wearing a medium just for reference. I could probably, I've lost... I don't know, I've like gained weight, but I've lost size, if that makes sense. So right now, I fluctuate like all people do super often. Um, right now I have a pretty flat um, stomach because I've been running more. My, when my stomach wasn't as flat, I probably could have done a large because it was uncomfortable. So if you don't have a super flat stomach, I would size up. Yeah, they're so cute. They make me feel like... They just make me feel cool. But I am keeping all three of these. When I do go hiking, I like to wear these because... I, I like to wear it with sports bra. I don't feel like super exposed or anything. So next I'll talk about bike shorts. Um, I threw these on. These are from Aerie. They're like their crossover bike short. Again, I really love these. I wish they were a little bit more high rise because when I'm working out, they fall a little bit. And then you can see my belly button. <laughs> so I wish they came up to like here, then they'd be like absolutely perfect. Um, but they're still cute. I wear them a lot. I don't wear the green as much as the black. Bike shorts are like one of my favorite workout shorts. So I'm gonna keep all of them. Okay, I thought I pulled these <laughs> out, but I don't know where the black ones are, but I do have this same exact pair in black. And then I have this Lululemon pair that I was wearing at the beginning of the video. So you've already seen them. I was wearing this with all the tops. These are super high rise. I love these. These were like a limited style, which is such a bummer because I feel like this ruching at the top is so cute. Keeping all three of those. So I have three pairs of bike shorts. I used to think I couldn't wear bike shorts because again, I am that pear shape. So my, you know, hips are wider, my butt, is bigger and I have no chest and I felt like bike shorts would make me look like short and stocky or like I just didn't think they would be a very like attractive fit on me but I love bike shorts now elite short no chub rub I can do anything in these I love running in these these are my go-to for running princess diana vibes <laughs> I think bike shorts are underrated honestly like I know that they were like a trend and they went through some hype like a year or two ago but I am like falling in love with them now I tried girlfriend collective which everyone is like obsessed with I hated it their bike shorts were so uncomfortable they had like a huge gap here which is so bizarre it was like a ginormous gap the rest of it was tight so it was loose on the um waist and then super tight on the thighs which is exactly the opposite of what I need so if you're super curvy I would try Aerie or Lulu Lulu is always a great option and then I have these from Aerie which I feel like these were kind of viral I saw them everywhere what I love about these is that they fit me at my thinnest and they fit me at my biggest and they still fit me and I'm somewhere in between um again I just love this like crossover. It's I feel like it's super attractive. Um, it really highlights the waist. It's a great material. These are probably the comfiest leggings <laughs> that I own. They're a nice seven eighths. Um, so I'm gonna keep these. They're kind of um, starting to uh, fade a little bit. The pattern's fading. So these might be just like at home workout leggings now, but I really like them. And I do have them in black as well, the same style. But I think I'm gonna get rid of the black ones. They are that crossover. But anytime I'm reaching for a black legging, I am gonna go with my Lululemon ones. So I will declutter these guys. So these are my Lululemons. They are the high rise cropped aligns. I'm trying to show you like the fun colors of every um, style I have, just so it's not like black, 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 black. Um, but I do have these in black so this pair is my black cropped and then this pair is my black um they go like all the way down their full length okay i know like lululemon is kind of controversial like everybody who wears like gymshark and stuff is like i could never spend a hundred dollars on leggings and trust me i hear you <laughs> however i might get a military discount it used to be 25 which was like that's so much but now it's 15 but that's still really good so uh and that counts for clearance once you wear one of these, once you wear a pair of Lululemon lines, I just don't know if there's any going back. I've got my mom hooked now. I didn't even want a pair. My husband, when we were dating, he got me a pair and I was like, oh, you're right, they are good. <laughs> what I like about them is that they are super high rise. I'm 5'7", just for like reference. 
super high rise again they will adapt with you if I lose weight if I gain weight like anywhere from 10 15 pounds on either side these will fit there's no gap in the back there's no camel toe I have owned Gymshark before and Gymshark leggings are like 60 bucks to pop and these are 98 which I know it's like that's more that's like $30 more but I would rather have like three four pairs of good quality leggings than like a drawer full of 20. This is the last pair they're the Lulu Limes. Lulu aligns <laughs> um and they're like this maroon burgundy color and i actually got these from the thrift store for six dollars which is crazy however the only downside is they have this like glue stain on the knee and i thought i could get it out i can't um but lululemon offers free alterations and hemming on lulu products even if you don't have the receipt so i can go in and um, ask them to make these bike shorts which i'm going to so hopefully i'll have a pair of maroon bike shorts soon so that's the reason i'm keeping these I have five pairs of leggings and one of those five I'm turning into bike shorts, so I have four pairs of leggings. Okay, so next are these kind of like windbreaker pants. They're from the North Face. I got these a while ago at TJ Maxx. They are low rise and I have a, another pair of like windbreaker pants that are higher rise that I like too, but I'm also, I'm just going to keep both of them. Sometimes I do like a lower rise to tuck my shirts in. Um, these are more like travel hiking pants. I'm just going to keep them from now. I don't really feel like separating from them yet. So this is that other pair. As you can see, they're higher rise, which I like. They're originally from Athleta, but I got them at the thrift store. I don't know. Like the other pair is cropped at the bottom and they have a zipper and these don't have a zipper. They kind of have like this ruching and they're definitely like tighter. I think they both serve a purpose in my wardrobe right now. I like these when I'm on my period and I want to work out. I wear these because I just don't feel comfy in leggings on my period. I just want more of a pant style. Yeah, I originally bought them to resell, but <laughs> I ended up really liking them. This is my only pair of sweatpants. <laughs> they are free people, got them at TJ Maxx. I like that they're high-waisted, they're a jogger, and the color is just super unique. I've never been a really like into sweatpants person, I've always had like one pair, so obviously keeping these because they're the only pair I have. <laughs> and then these are my pajama pants. I'm actually gonna get rid of these because I never wear them and they're a little tight and I just don't like the fabric. These are my sleeping pants that I've had since 2016 probably 2015 they're the most comfortable just slinky <laughs> material then i have two pairs of sleep shirts they're shorts they're literally just like jersey knit so yeah i'm not a cute pajama kind of girl but i want to be but this is just more comfortable you know two pairs of gray shorts one pair of a uh, black and white stripe that's my those are my sleeping pajamas and these are kind of in their own category because they're more like loungewear i like these for like athleisure looks they're from anina bing and the reason why i love them so much is because they have pockets big pockets they have a waistband that goes up high i mean i could bring them all the way up there if i wanted to they are a conservative fit they're to my the tips of my fingers and usually with a jersey short they're just like super <laughs> super short and i wanted something that covered my butt Here's another random pant in its own category. These are some more black pants, but they're like cargo pants. They got a lot of pockets. I'm gonna keep these for now because I kind of see um, cargo pants are kind of coming in style. Oh, I have another pair of cargo pants. I didn't even get the stuff from my closet. What the heck? I also have these cargo pants. These are more of like a linen, they're green. I'm gonna keep both of them because like I was just saying, um, I've been seeing cargos, I think they're gonna trend for spring, so instead of getting rid of them and rebuying some, I already have two pairs. Okay, I wore black underwear, so probably most definitely can see it. Um, these are another pair of casual pants. I wear these all the time, beach cover up, run in errands, gonna hang on to these as well. Okay, so this pair of denim is from Target, they're from Wild Fable. They aren't the greatest of fit, but I bought these because I just wanted a pair of shorts that wouldn't rub in between my thighs. I really like the distressing at the bottom. I like the color. I love the cut. It's just the back. But again, these were like 15 bucks. So I can't really complain for that price. I'm going to keep them for now. But I am on the hunt for a better quality because these get loose throughout the day too. The more you wear them, the looser they get. So by the end of the day, they're like falling down and um, they don't look great with tucked shirts. If they're getting looser, everything just looks a little messy. So I just need a pair that's more like snatched on the waist, you know, but for now, I'm going to keep them. And then we'll just talk about something I'm going to get rid of. These are from Aerie. I'm going to get rid of these. I never wear them. They're a super like low rise. They're just weird. I'm not going to wear them anymore. 
think I'm gonna hang on to for a little bit. They're from Zara. They're kind of like a high-waisted, more tailored short. The problem is that I don't wear this like paisley print. I think that's a little too preppy for me. I don't know why I bought this, but I'm gonna try to style them. I only wore them once. Okay, I have this pair of shorts from American Eagle, which I really like. They have the same problem. They get loose throughout the day and then they're like falling off. I have the same pair in a smaller size. I'm kind of conflicted about whether to keep them in the smaller size or not. And I know a lot of people talk about like, just get rid of it, it doesn't fit you anymore. But I, again, I fluctuate in weight very often. Like there are times where I'm super into fitness and then other times when I'm not. So if I lose weight, then I would like to have this pair. But the problem is that I have, like, it's not that I'm like wishing to be smaller. It's that it just like happens sometimes. You know what, I think I'm just gonna get rid of them because even if I lose a little bit of weight, I think I'm always gonna be a, like a six from now on. I don't know if I'll ever get down to a four again. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of them. They're not like the best short in the world anyway. So if I do need a new pair, I'd rather get a better quality. So we'll get rid of those and we'll keep these guys for now. And then just some rapid fire. These jeans I wore a lot, but they're a size four. I'm gonna be selling these. They're super cute. I'm gonna link them on my Poshmark. These pants. Well, they're a size six, but I don't, they're gonna fit like way too tight. These are the Old Navy Pixie Pants, which I was just freaking obsessed with. I think I'm gonna get rid of them. I don't know if I'm gonna fit in these again. These I need to get rid of. I'm so stupid. I got these in a small and they did fit at the time, but now they don't. They were so cute and they don't make them anymore. I wish I had them in like a medium or a large. I gotta get rid of them though. And these I'm keeping because they have a grip on me. <laughs> they're from American Apparel. And I got them on clearance and I was just like so excited to own a pair of American Apparel anything. The, this is kind of a piece I keep just for the memories. Like I know I probably won't wear them a lot. I know that, but I'm just gonna give myself grace and keep them. <laughs> See, sizing is so fucked because <laughs> those pixie pants are a size six and I know they don't fit me. These are a size two and they still fit me. And I was this like, okay, I would wear those pixie pants and I would wear these two years ago and they both fit me and now only these fit me. I'm keeping these. <laughs> um, they're kind of like a wide leg crop. They're kind of like a capri. I like them. They're a little tight. Mm. Here's the thing. I have so many pairs of white pants. They're, they're a little snug. They do fit. I think they look good, but they're a little snug and I have so many pairs of white pants and I don't see myself picking these out of all of the white pants. Okay, I've tilted the camera so you can see the pants a little bit better. Um, these are from Gap. I'm keeping these. They're kind of like a trouser looking denim. I think these are super cool, super chic. They're not the best fit on me, but I believe I got these from like a thrift store like five years ago for like $4. So I'm not mad about it. And this is my last pair of white pants. They're kind of the same cut. They're a little less high-waisted. They're kind of like a mid-rise. They have a raw hem. They're probably <laughs> some of my favorite pants. And then just to save myself some try on. This is the exact same brand, exact same style of pant in a kind of a medium wash denim. Has the raw hem, literally the same thing. I love these. And if you're wondering, because I get a lot of questions whenever I wear these, they are the high rise wide leg crop by Banana Republic. Um, high rise my ass, but I still like them. These are my faves. These are my Everlanes. These are the cropped version. I just washed them so they are a little tight. You can wash these like five times before you have to wash them again. Or what did I say? You can wear these bad boys like five times before you wash them again. And then I have them in this kind of like funky patchwork denim, which I got on clearance. And I'm gonna keep both of these. Then I have this pair that I'm not gonna try on, doesn't fit anymore. They are like a low rise, so I'm gonna get rid of these. These are my skinny jeans that I wear to work. Honestly, they're not that comfortable, but I don't really wanna buy another pair of work jeans because these are like rigid denim, right? <laughs> So at work, I can't like bend down and like get on my knees and pick stuff up as easy. So I need like a really stretchy denim because this is my other pair of work jeans and they are the American Eagle mom jeans. I want to just get these in a darker denim. They are so stretchy and they're kind of like a looser fit than these Everlane ones. They're so comfortable. And then the last pair of denim I can't try on because they don't fit. Getting rid of them. And then the last thing are skirts. <laughs> Actually, I only have two skirts this leopard print, which I'm keeping. Then I have this pair of pants that I thrifted. And in theory, they're super cute. They're high-waisted, they're like a wide leg, but they're uncomfortable. They're not a great fabric, I'm gonna get rid of them. Then I have this black pleated skirt that I honestly don't wear as much anymore, but I kind of think when I start working like a corporate office job, this will be perfect. So I'm gonna hang on to it. I only have two skirts anyway. And then this pair of black pants is gorgeous. 
It has like a black floral pattern on it, like kind of like a Hawaiian print almost. But I need to get them altered because I love them. Look, tag is still on because they don't really fit quite right. I'm gonna get these altered because I absolutely love the print and I love, they're like a super wide flare, really dramatic. We did it. We are done. We have completed this ginormous task of going through everything in my wardrobe. I didn't go through swimming suits, shoes, bras and underwear, stuff like that. We got rid eight pairs of pants, two pairs of shorts, one pair of leggings, and one romper is in this box. We got rid of three dresses, two sweaters, and 21 tops. That is 38 articles of clothing that are out of my closet. I like to do this once a year. I think it's a good closet clear out. You know, you have a lot of stuff from like middle school that you're still hanging on to. I think the less clutter, the better. I still have a ton of clothes, like don't get me wrong. I, I know that I'm definitely more in like the maximalism category with clothing. I really do cherish my pieces and I wear them for a very, very long time. And what I don't wear or things that I, that I like didn't wear a lot, I resell on Poshmark, which is always linked down below. Um, shoot me an offer. <laughs> Every time I do this, it just reminds me to really think about the pieces I'm buying, making sure that they're good quality, that they're going to last long, that they're more timeless, that I really do like them instead of just mindless shopping. So yeah, hopefully this inspired you to clear out your closet. It can be a really good reset to just literally take everything out, clean it out, get rid of the fat, put it back in. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. We got rid of a lot of stuff. We tried on a lot of stuff. <laughs> My closet is definitely better for it. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next one. Hopefully it's a styling video because now I um, my closet's gonna be really clean and organized. So yeah, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in my next one.